give you a quick introduction to the little bit that I have um, from vacation. I had intended to upload videos the whole time that I had actually shot before I left, I, which I didn't edit any of them. Um, I had intended to get more footage and I realized when we were on vacation that I, I just needed to unplug. I didn't get on Facebook at all. I mess and got a messenger a couple times because there were some people that needed to talk to me. I got on Instagram three times, and I, I like Instagram. Um, part of it was, you know, not wanting to use data, but mostly it was, it was just really good to just step away and just focus on being there with family. And I didn't video anything of Wendell's and my date, mine and Wendell's date, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, we had a fantastic time. It was, it was great. Best date ever. Best meal ever. I love, love authentic German food, at least certain elements of it. I mean, he got sausage of sausage variety, and he loves sausages. That was, you know, they were really good, but that's not what I'm, I'm not going to go to a restaurant and order that. Um, so I got Jaeger schnitzel. It was, right? Yeah. And, um, it was really, really good. Anyways, so here is a look at what little bit I, I got on our vacation. It's mostly scenic, um, but I just want to share it. No, I was just healing, videoing. Hey, Carolyn, are you ready to get back in the car? Hey, where are you guys going? Aislinn, what's better? A natural history museum or video games? <laughs> Why? Uh, because of all the dinosaurs and all the natural history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Booney, what do you like better? Dinosaur Nothing. stuff or video games? Nothing. Nothing? Well, he's mad. No, he's mad. And so is Gwendolyn, but, and there's Carolyn. Wait, wait, wait. What's better? A natural history museum or video games? No, don't say those two words. Oh, well, what were you wanting to say? Well, just say what you want to say. Yes, no. Race cars. Oh. <laughs> say a race car oh. or a truck. A okay, what's better, a race car or a truck? Race car. <laughs> Leopard has a great... Hello, Leisure. I take a picture of that. What is it, Carolyn? A 
I'm going to get Aiken. Wolf in, wolf in the moon. I got that on video. A wolf under the moon. A wolf under the moon. Okay, no. cool. Because there's piles of snow in the Arctic. Do you see the pretty colors on the wall back there? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, what is it? And they're the northern lights. They the northern shine lights. everything or, in the Arctic. It's also called the Aurora Borealis. The Aurora Borealis. What do you want to see? A wolf and a moon. I'm taking these. Uh-huh. You dug one? Wow, yeah, but Mooney and me did that one. Well, what's the what's that? Did you find something? What are you doing, Aislin? Mom, what? Oh, if I have to be something crazy, I my nice bone. I found it. I, I never bone in the wall. Yeah, what are you doing, Aislin? <laughs> you really are? I want to it home. You, you want to do what? I want to bring it home. You want to bring it home? Did it just pee on you? No. Yes, it did, because you scared it, Booney. It's scared. Put it down, please. Mm. Oh. It is getting towards the tail end of our vacation, and I have videoed like nothing, almost, um, a little bit, and wind pulling at the doors. We're at my aunt's house. And I forgot what I was going to say. It is, it's like nice cool morning. All the kids are in there waiting on breakfast. My aunt's cooking us breakfast before we go. Um, we're actually going to go about halfway back towards home and see a friend of mine that I have not seen in... Oh boy. Over five years, probably six. Six years. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I get to see her and hang out with her family. And, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be an awesome way to finish up Trip, and it's gonna break up that drive that's like nine hours. So, best of both worlds, I guess you would say. And I just wanted to come out here and and enjoy this like cool misty morning in southern Texas and drink my coffee while it's still hot. Tomorrow's mug again. I didn't bring it. It's been fun using other people's mugs. It's silly. But yes, yeah, that's it. In the song.
it's in there, guys. Went to get it. It's not raining. Yeah, but it's raining. Are you ready to drive in the car more when Daddy brings you the pizza? Yeah. Are you hungry? Mm-hmm. I got cheese pizza! Yes, go get you some cheese pizza. Another couple more minutes. are molting and so I also want to give you a quick update on before I, I wrap this up. As you saw, I let the geese out. Let all of them out. And the one that's throwing a fit now is the um is the one eyed goose. And unfortunately um that goose is still still putting a I don't know why I'm carrying him carrying those around. But um so I let them out, and, and that goose is just, it's not thriving. It does fine in the little pen, but it got separated, and it's not a large area here, and it just stood out under the tree, like, in the night. I checked on it, and it was fine. Um, but, yeah, it, it's not thriving. So I, I don't... It's like you're questioning the quality of life that it has. And we do intend to eat some of the geese. So, yeah, we're, we're leaning towards processing that one. Um, and, and the turkeys, I keep going back and forth because, you know, they seem to be doing all right. And I wanted to let them um, free range especially before we process them uh, they would be healthier and you know it's kind of like a nice thing to do I thought at least let them free range during the day and one of them disappeared for like four hours yesterday and they'd go out here and turkeys are not quiet they're not like obnoxiously loud I, I don't think but the hens are they really communicate a lot and I called for them and called for them the one was here the whole time, and the other one was gone. So I'm pretty sure she's going out and laying wood, laying woods, <laughs> laying eggs in the woods. So I don't want that. Um, I do have at least two pullets laying eggs in a nesting box under in the rabbit barn, um, which is just a carport that has a gate on either end and half a wall. Well, yeah. You've seen it. Um, I have two guinea hens, and they're both laying eggs. They're really tiny. They both only laid two eggs, so they probably laid them the day I came back. Um, and I know there's two different ones because they're like distinctively marked different. One was super light, and the other was super dark. That's that's about it. They're like golf ball size, though, and they they should be. Um, 
this size, which this is a small egg. Uh, they might start laying a little bit bigger ones, but. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, so right over here, if you notice the opening is like a teepee style, I caught that goose and I put it back in there and it is, the, the other geese can get in and out, but I don't think that one will find its way out. And the fence is hot, so they stay, should stay away from the fence. They're doing great, you know, the, those three, they're kind of hanging out here, but they do mingle with the other geese just fine. Um, the rabbits, I, I was planning on selling a bunch when I came back anyways, and while I was on vacation, the young lady that I bought them all from messaged me, and she's actually getting back into rabbits. Um, they're they're going to be traveling for some family stuff, and that's why she sold them. Um, but anyhow, she's going to buy a few of them from me. And I'm trying to decide what I'm going to keep because, you know, they're great and I really like them. But I want to get more towards the meat birds because even, even culling them for whatever reason, it feels ridiculous to, to, you know, cull a tiny rabbit to me. So it, it the larger rabbits are at this point make more sense to me. I did buy that big uh, Rex New Zealand cross. I guess that's the sound from the plane. Like it sounds like thunder. Or maybe that is thunder in the plane at the same time. <sighs> I gotta stand up. Let's grab the legs. Grab the eggs. I think that pretty much sums it up. Oh, so we let the geese out and then put them all up. And the fence was all like, like I, I guess they ran each other into it and tore it down and I'm glad no one got hurt. But they were all out when I came out in the morning to let them out. Um, like day before yesterday. And say we came home we did some stuff we cleaned some stuff out um, also the rabbit the big rabbit I named her big mama the day after we come home her cage is knocked open and she's running around with the guineas and the chickens so I'm just leaving them I kind of want to do that anyways but I was afraid they would pick on her and they're not I have to fix a nesting box for the guineas. They're kind of just laying their eggs wherever, or they're getting kicked around. And, okay, back here on either side, we've changed stuff around, our plans, my plans. And I'm going to go from the end of this garden to, I don't think you can quite see it, the, not the gate post, but that other post straight back and then we'll go back that way a little bit and there'll be this kind of like uh, weird pie slice over here we might go a little further this way and then on this side and yeah we're still cleaning stuff up and he actually cleaned out the back of his truck before we left we'll come in Probably on the same spot on the gate over here, let's see, on the other side of the gate, and come out this way, probably directly behind me, seems like a pretty good spot, tie into one of the little trees, so you're, you'll have a really wide space between the two pins, but we're going to put permanent structure on either side, or permanent fence, and then a, a large coop over there. Um, and no more just like completely free ranging birds and no more chickens sleeping and pooping all under the rabbit carport. And we need to build some cages, other cages for the rabbits. So 
Yeah, so much for sure. I've been talking for eight minutes. Well, okay, that's it. That everything was, you know, really good. All the animals grew more. Uh, the one rabbit that wasn't doing so well, which you probably don't even know about because I didn't put any of that video up. Anyway, she's doing great. And my brother, who's a, he's a really skeptical person in general, he's like, those herbs really helped her. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, I was giving her lemon balm. I, I was giving her a few other things, but lemon balm was the one I had ripped a whole bunch of it up. And so it was drying out, you know, as he was feeding her, but as just gave him a basket and told him to feed her a little bit each day. Yeah, things things are good. It's good to be home. It's good to come out here and sweat. You know, we, we swam almost every day and walked a bunch and stuff, but didn't sweat. And I don't know, it, it changes something in you. Um, I, I'm going to go in the house and fix everybody some food and get these eggs out of my hand. And I will talk to you next time.